Hello everybody and welcome back to the Dragon's Library. So today we are finally going to be discussing a video game I streamed a while back, Hi-Fi Rush. So this is a really fun game and I've been wanting to talk about it for a while but I had to gather my flute and everything. So let's get right into it. Hi-Fi Rush is a rhythm-based action game developed by Tango Gameworks and published by Bethesda. Yeah, Bethesda published this. I was shocked as well. It was released for Windows and Xbox and was announced on January 25th, 2023 and released the same day. Yeah, this thing just came out of nowhere. Let's get that out of the way first. This game came out of nowhere, was dropped out like it was no big deal and turned into like one of the biggest things streaming at the time, which was really interesting just how low profile this game was despite how well received it was. So. With that out of the way, let's get into what this game is. First up, this is a rhythm action game where the entire world moves to the beat. You play Chai, a guy with a disabled right arm who signs up for a cybernetic augmentation program at Vandalay Industries. However, due to Vandalay being kind of a dick and picking, messing with Chai's stuff, his MP3 player gets thrown out of his bin, I guess you could say, his bin of stuff while he's going through the procedure, and ends up getting left right in his chest as he goes through a cyber press. And when he wakes up, he now has a MP3 player where his heart should be. Full on Tony Stark arc reactor style. This causes him to see everything in the world moving to the beat of his rhythm. Which forms the main gameplay. After being labeled a defect and nearly terminated, Chai is rescued by both a cat named 808 and a hacker slash resistance leader named Peppermint who's trying to uncover some sinister corporate conspiracy by Vandalay Industries. On the way, they encounter several other NPC characters, which Chai can summon to his aid, and go on to figure out the sinister plot behind Hale Vandalay. So, all in all, a pretty standard plot. Now, the gameplay of Hi-Fi Rush is pretty cool. The whole game world is constantly moving, you know, basic beat of a rhythm. So you gotta do, 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 and you'll have enemies moving their attacks in that method, you'll have El the background environment slowly moving to that rhythm. There's a soundtrack overlay in all of it, and you can get visual indicators that move to it to help you do it. And as you're fighting the game, you not only have to do like a combat spectacle fighter kind of thing where you're trying to make your, you know, do various different styles of attacks and kill the enemies quickly without getting hit, but you also need to keep to the rhythm of the beat in order to get the most out of your attacks. And it's actually really fun. Now, I'm pretty shit at keeping to the beat, so any footage I'm playing is likely going to have me constantly missing. I think my best beat at one point was like 75%, but I usually got like a 50 or a 40. Uh, once or twice, I even got like a 20% beat accuracy rating, so I could get off beat really easily. But the game is very easy and fun when it comes to getting back on the beat. It's always possible to hop back on. There are plenty of visual indicators. The combos start off pretty basic, but you can unlock more as time progresses with lots of delays and stuff like that. I've never been particularly amazing at the delay combos, but I will say this game handles those a lot better than something like Bayonetta. I felt like I could actually do the combos where you had to like wait a beat in order to uh, pause and then continue the combo because the beat is an actual physical measurement in this game where you can like see between 808 whether you have paused or not which actually is very helpful for those type of combos. So I will see that the combat system in the game is pretty fleshed out. You can call in your sidekicks for like different specialty attacks that are needed to break different environmental things. Like there's a character who can deal with fire. There's one who can break through the super armor. Another, the peppermint does the lasers to two shields. It's all very nice. I will say the game isn't too like deep. Like I feel like there's a lot you can do in these mechanics. But I did feel like the game didn't really press you too hard. It's pretty basic there. Then again, there's a lot of post-game content, so maybe it gets more complex in the end. And it was certainly challenging. I died a few times in most levels. So it's not the kind of thing where there's no challenge at all, even on normal difficulty, which is nice. And there are definitely higher difficulty options. So if a game isn't too, you know, it's too easy at any one point, you can always turn up the difficulty. Uh, I got my ass kicked enough times, so that was not really an option for me. <laughs> Now, moving on from there, though, we got to get into the one of the standout things about this game, and that is the animation. God, this game looks so cool. It's like a mix of Devil May Cry, cyberpunk aesthetic, and Jet Set Radio. It has this really nice cel shaded art style that's beautifully well animated with comic book-like cutaways and ridiculous over-the-top villains. Like, the head of R&D is literally a green-haired JoJo character 
who you defeat by draining the budget. I, I can't even make that up. That's just... <laughs> it's, it's beautiful, and I love it. In addition, I think the game has a decent soundtrack. Now, I played this on streamer mode, so I actually got to see the original soundtracks. They do have some like 10 licensed songs for different levels, but I actually didn't really listen to all of those. I only listened to a few of them because I haven't really played the entire game yet. However, I will say the soundtrack is very appropriate, very good, and I was bouncing my head to the rhythm plenty of times. And a game where the music is very integral to the action, I'm really glad to see that. Now, this is where I usually go in deeper on like, the plot and stuff, but like, Honestly, this is kind of all you really need to know. There's not a hugely deep plot. It's very much comic book inspired. Like, there's a lot of comic book influence. Uh, the beginning and opening of each new level has like a comic book intro sequence with a recap and a well, what's our plan going forward. They have this really cool uh, comic book art style they go to and they have like cutscenes that are really well animated too. Honestly, I was just impressed all around the board with just how well this game was made for something that seemed to come out of nowhere. Uh, back in January. So, you know, Tango Gameworks has clearly done a lot of good work on this game, and I'm just really impressed with it. They also worked on Evil Within, Evil Within 2, and Ghostwire Tokyo, all of which are games I've liked. Actually, there's kind of funny, there is a uh, Sebastian reference to the protagonist, the trench coat wearing protagonist from Evil Within. Uh, there's like a robot detective that keeps showing up who is literally called Sebastian. Uh, just spelled differently. It's hilarious. I love it. So, uh, yeah. Good music, good visuals, nice gameplay, fun, well animated, good, interesting characters, campy writing, comic book inspired, cell shaded. I don't really have much more to say about it. That's basically the conclusion. It's a fun game. I'll give this a 9 out of 10. <laughs> I, I, I wish I had more to say about this because I feel like I should have more to say about this, but there's not really like a lot of deeper themes or analysis I can do from a storybook perspective. It's just a really fun video game. And you know what? I need more of this in my life. There's not a huge open world. There's not any of the things that games have been telling us we need for the last few years. It's just a really fun game with a cool gameplay premise, good animation, good voice acting, good music, and, and clearly... And, attitude that's like hey gamer just sit down play a few levels and have some fun with us and you know what more games can stand to be like that these days so with all that said and done let's move on to the announcements now i am very happy to move on to the announcements here because i'm a little exhausted i'm trying to get this video released on wednesday uh, that's my plan. I'm recording this on Tuesday after I streamed. I just got another video out on Sunday, and then I'm going to try and get another out for Friday and then another out on the weekend. So we're running through these things very fast, and I haven't made this many videos in one week before. We'll see if I can make four videos in one week. Uh, don't try this at home, kids. Sleep is important. Anyway, I'm currently, well, I was currently playing Raven's Watch earlier, streaming, and I will be streaming Jedi Survivor starting this Thursday at 7.30 p.m. Come join me there for stream. I hope you like that. In addition, we also have a book review coming up. That would be the Battle of Medicine Rocks. Eventually, I'll get to the Dragon's Promise. And I'm also going to be reviewing Owl House Season 3, as well as a retrospective review of the Owl House, which they showed from Disney. That's going to be my other two reviews for this week. So I hope you look forward to both of those. Check them out. Go see them. Um, they're going to be a lot of fun, so I hope you guys come in for those reviews. I have noticed that most of my animated reviews tend to go well, so I really hope you guys stick around for the Owl House review. That show got done dirty, but it still managed to stick the landing somehow, so I'm really happy to talk about it. So, uh, yeah. I guess I will see you all next time. Moving on here, we have the subscribe or check it out. Click here and go to my channel, subscribe. And over here, you'll see other videos from this year. We just reviewed Suzume, so check that video out. And we also have a video YouTube recommends. So, you know, maybe you'll like either of those, any of the stuff on this list or something YouTube recommends. Check it both out. Tell me what you think. And I guess I'll see you guys next time. Bye.